Hey there, subs and visitors. It's April 4th, 2024, and I was sitting on my lounge this morning. I thought to myself, oh, April 3rd has passed. I don't even think to pay attention to what's going on in the world. So I had made a video, it was probably about seven months ago, and it was all relating to um, the uh, quake that happened. Uh, it was a Boxing Day earthquake in um, uh, Bali, Indonesia. Um, so I was interested to see um, the distance of time in between that date and April 3rd. And what I found was quite interesting. So interesting that it, <laughs> I started doing this stuff um, and creating these videos and looking more into um, equal measure of time between events. And so the, the, what I found was um, it was the 19th of September and that was the 1985 Mexico City earthquake, which was um, on the 19th of September. And that was a magnitude uh, 8.0 and about 5,000 people were killed at least. Um, so anyway, I was looking for a midpoint between April 8th and that date, that Mexico quake. Um, what I found was that if I, if I added 7,038 days, it brought me out to the 26th of December, 2004, which was that huge, uh, Bali, Indonesia boxing day quake. That was just epic. And so it was, yeah, 7,038 days, um, between the Mexico quake and the Bali quake and 7,038, it's 138 times 51. Okay. So there's the 138 in there as well. Um, and so I added another 7,038 days and that brought me out to April 3rd, 2024. And that blew my mind. So I made a video. It was very quick. It was the middle of the night. So I can't remember what time, two o'clock or something in the morning. And that was the first video I ever did like this. And so I went further and looked at more dates of quakes to try and find links to April 8. I didn't find any links that took us to April 8. Um, but I did find other quakes, various quakes with a midpoint and then which carried us out to April 3rd. And as we've just seen, there was this quake in uh, Taiwan on April 3rd and it looks pretty full on. Um, but there's, it's, there's, there's April 4th and, you know, I don't know, there could be some major aftershocks or something like that that takes place. Dutch since has been talking about it. And funnily enough, that's what I did. <laughs> I got off the lounge and I was looking up, um, I looked up April 3rd earthquake and found it. And I was like, oh, there you go. And then I went onto YouTube and saw his video and he's doing a live video now um, talking about all that stuff, you know, and all the different quakes that are happening and there's a lot of um, movement going on. So um, the date that I had was April 3rd. And although it's not a massive casualty, which is good, we don't want to see people dying, you know. Um, it's still a huge quake. I mean, it's the strongest earthquake in 25 years there that they've had. And it could have been a lot worse. It really could have because buildings tipped, but they didn't you know, collapse completely, like, you know, so it could have been a lot worse. But anyway, I just want to bring that out there, that, yeah, April 3rd was the date that I had um, looked at and really thought that something's going to happen relating to quakes and or landslides. And there was a landslide there too. I saw footage of that on CNN. Wow, <laughs> that, that was pretty full on. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Anyway, just thought I'd update with that one and um, have a great day and I'll catch you all on the next one.